In this fifth video, we're going to start making sure that you're feeling real comfortable using the wiki. I can go backwards and step through the whole hierarchical tree that got me here to that photos page, and I'm up on the top. And I want to create a new kind of page, which is probably the most significant, important kind of page you can create. It's a profile page. So I'm going to go create a new link to a new page called Mark Cantor. That happens to be my name. And we're going to start talking about using the wiki in effective ways. Now, I could think of a wiki page as a place that has photos and links, but I could also think of it as something that represents me or represents the idea, or represents what I'm about, what I'm trying to communicate. So let's go get this image up into the wiki. And I click, and I'm going to make it smaller. All right. And I'm also going to make it so it doesn't align left and put a little gutter in there. This allows me to Type them some nice text right to the side. I can even uh, put it, uh, do not have any mistakes. And what I'm trying to show you is that I can feel fluid and comfortable using this environment as a tool. Because there's some photos, there's some images, I could link to my blog. In fact, I have a link to my blog up on the top page. So let me show you that I can go, I can select, I can cut, get rid of those extra lines there. And then I can dive into the Mark Cantor page and paste that link to my blog. So cut and paste also works in the wiki environment. All right. So now we've got links, we've got pages, we've got photos, we've got videos. Now the question is, what are we going to do with these wikis? What does this thing represent? And that's the real kicker here, is that when you can start to think of these wiki pages, not just as information, but as knowledge, as actually something that represents something. So let's start with the most important thing you want to represent on the internet, yourself. This is what is typically called a profile page, and you probably have a blog, or a Facebook account, or a G Plus account, or a Twitter account, and each of those are forms of a profile page for you. So I could go over here and put links to those profile accounts. Okay. Um, and then, of course, I just go up to the top and I copy the URL, associate it with the text, make that a link, one of these web access links, okay? Open in a separate window. Okay, so now you've linked all of your social media accounts into your profile page. And maybe now we now want to upload some nice logos that represent those social media accounts. All right, so I would click, make it go shift right, maybe shrink it down to 128 size, and there I could add a Facebook logo onto my profile page. What I'm doing is aggregating all my social media accounts together. Now let's hit save and go back up to the home page, the wiki home page, and let's see that my name Mark Cantor is right there in that home page. And one of the studies we do in the classroom is we have each trainee go onto the home page and create their own link to their name, which then links to their profile page. It's one of the exercises we do in class. We even have a kind of a game-like activity we do to cue people up because you can only have one person editing this page at the same time. Okay, so you're probably wondering, I've got this profile page. I can now go to that profile page. Now, is this something that everyone can see or is this just for me? Is this a public page or a private page? Well, it turns out that each of these different social networks that you've joined and this wiki each have different rules and controls over who gets to see what. Let's just assume that for now, this is our public space that everyone that's in our program that's on this wiki can share together. 
And when I say share your profile page, I mean that you could link to the church group that you're a member of or something that your swim team is doing or a favorite band that's playing soon or anything that's a favorite of yours. You can link these all together and associate all those links and information with your public page, your profile page. Everyone who's a member of the program, who's a trainee, who's a vendor, who's a staff member, who's an executive, who's an investor, who's a stakeholder, everyone's going to have these profile pages. We call it a citizen dashboard.